All right, guys, so here we are test driving the brand new 2022 Honda Odyssey EXL that we just went over all of the wonderful outside features of the car. So here on the inside of the cabin as we're driving along, I'm going to talk to you about a few of the features inside. Those Honda safety sensing features are what we're going to kind of discuss right now as we're driving along here. Once the vehicle gets up to 45 miles an hour, we have road departure already turned on. That gave us the green circle earlier as we walk around the outside. Again, when we hit 45 miles an hour, that's when those features actually take hold. So now that I'm driving down here on the Technology Boulevard, we're going to kind of drift over the solid line here. On the dash, I get the lane departure warning and a vibration in the steering wheel. And the steering wheel actually pulls me back to the right-hand side to center me back into my lane. So again, as mom's driving, those kids are in the back seat. Everybody's safe because mom has complete control of the car. We do have a premium sound system here. Again, our rear climate control, so all of our passengers are nice and comfy as well. It's a very smooth, quiet ride, as you guys can hear. We're not hearing a lot of road noise, and that is because of the double wrap that goes along our insulation here on the doors and around the windshield, so that way everything is nice and quiet here in the cabin of the Odyssey. Also, as we're driving, we're going to take note that we also have heated front two captain's chairs with three different levels of how we can turn those on. We also have our idle stop and our traction control system for snow to let us know and let the traction control system know that there's snow on the road. Obviously, here in the middle of June, we're not going to have too much snow. Once we get out on the highway, we're actually going to set our lane departure and our adaptive cruise control, and we're going to let those take control as we finish taking our test drive here of the Odyssey. As we're driving along here on the back of the steering wheel, we do have paddle shifters. So if you want that feeling of shifting through gears, you can hit the plus and minus to shift through the gears as we're going along. Again, like we talked about earlier, we have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay for the radio, along with Sirius XM satellite radio and just AM FM along through there. So we're just gonna take our quick drive and we're gonna be out on the highway soon and we'll uh, set the adaptive cruise control and go from there, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to turn out here onto the highway. So to show off a few more of the safety features of the car, I've turned on our adaptive cruise control and our lane keep assist. And I've preset that I wanna have three car links paced between myself and the car in front of me. So once we get out here on the highway, I'll actually set the cruise and then I'll show you how that all works together. And we'll kind of show you what it does as we're driving along. So here we go, getting out here on Highway 40 East. We're on the on-ramp getting up to highway speed so we're gonna make sure that we're going along you can see the green light now for the steering wheel where the camera and the radar sensor have picked up the lines so that way again if we start to cross those lines we'll get that vibration in the steering wheel as I use my turn signal it disengages until I get into the center of my lane and then it'll fill back in so now that we have somebody in front of us we're gonna go ahead and hit set on our cruise control and we can see it's paced us to three car lengths and it's filled in a car and now it's dotted line because it doesn't see the car anymore from the camera but as we close in on the car in front of us it will actually pick that car back up now it's filled back in and you can actually feel the brakes slowing us down now if that vehicle wasn't there we'd be doing 70 miles an hour but because it is it's pacing us at 67 miles an hour to the car in front of us but as they're speeding up the vehicle is starting to speed up as well and you can see that as we're climbing closer to that 70 miles an hour again Due to our safety features, if I try to leave this lane without signaling, it says lane departure and kind of pulls us back to the right. But if I turn that turn signal on, it lets me change lanes no problem. And now we have a dotted line for where the car was and it's not seen. So now the car comes right back up to 70 miles an hour, which is where the cruise control was set. Again, guys, that's adaptive cruise control, and that's one of the best features for taking a long trip, so that way when you're driving, you're not having to hit the brake and gas to accelerate and slow down as you go through traffic. The vehicle's taking care of all that for you, and it automatically applies the brakes. We can preset four, three, two, or one car links to any car in front of us. So again, you're in complete control of how far and how close you wanna follow the traffic in front of you. Again, guys, I would love to have you out here to Frank Lita to show you an overall test drive and go over all of the fun features on the 2022 Honda Odyssey, along with all of the reasons why you should buy at Frank Lita with our complimentary pickup and drop off for service and our lifetime powertrain warranty. Again, guys, thank you so very much for taking time to see us today here on the 2022 Honda Odyssey. Come out and take a test drive this weekend.